video is brought to you by Let Synthesize Academy, the number one place for practice-oriented courses for serious music producers. Hey, Dan Larson here. Welcome to a new Synthesize Sunday episode. And today I want to talk about ring modulation and to show you how to use it effectively to create a very nice metallic lead sound for, for example, half time drawing bass through a groove I made like this. Like always, you can download this sound from my Patreon, and if you want to dig deeper into production, check my academy for full masterclasses. And now let's jump into it. Okay, so this is the sound. And I so love this because it is very, very simple and very, very versatile, because basically you can turn one knob and it transforms the whole sound into a very different thing. So, the idea behind that is the ring modulation, as you can see here. But first, before you jump into it, as you can see, we have the analog B design on a really high octave. And I also modulated the course. So basically, LE for one drags up and down the course really high and really low frequencies. And with the synchronized warping mode, we add even more harmonics to this whole sound. So basically, we are having a very harsh and very high frequency kind of sound. Now the coolest part in this, if you combine the very harsh and very metallic high frequency kind of noise with a sort of low frequency ring modulation, it is on 1000 Hz, you can get a very very interesting result because the ring modulation, it behaves almost like amplitude modulation. And amplitude modulation gives an illusion that the basic harmonic is created by the ring modulation and you know, not the sound generator, in this case oscillator A. Basically, you perceive this frequency as the basic note, as the note itself. And this is why it's very cool to use low frequency ring modulation with high frequency oscillator. Okay, so as you can see in LFO1, I'm modulating the warp and the coarse bit of oscillator A. But there is another LFO that basically is only the level and in the frequency the distortion. Okay, I use five voices in unison, but now let's go to the FX. And one of the coolest part here is the hyper dimension. Well, only the dimension because the size of it is very high and this gives a delay kind of noisy sound that I really love between these spaces. Along with the delay. There is an OTT here and the equalizer where I boosted the frequency at around 1000 Hz and distorted at the same time. So without boosting and distortion, but with boosting and distortion. Now let's go back to phase 1 and let's deactivate the high frequency thing by bypassing LE41, I mean completely, and the ring modulation. And because we are having this sine wave with quite a lot of harmonics and the equalizer and the distortion, it creates a very very nice sound that almost like a vocal. How cool is that? And that is simply because the sine wave has some higher harmonics and the distortion adds even more harmonics, but the equalizer boosts a little in the middles. How cool is that? I love this sound. And if you go back with the ring modulation, it's just not that cool because you need to push the sound into very high frequency, you know, by turning up the octaves and, and the synchronization and stuff like that. This is how I made this groove. With the vocal kind of thing, it sounds even cooler. Okay, so this was it. I hope you learned something and I inspired you something. I was Ed Larson. See you guys next time. Peace.